Meghan is accused of making another faux pas during last night's Buckingham Palace reception, but can you spot it? Last week royal watchers accused the Duchess of Sussex of being disrespectful for turning her back on the Queen at Ascot, however, it seems Meghan may have committed another royal faux pas. As the Duchess took her seat at the young leader's reception at Buckingham Palace alongside Prince Harry last night she was spotted sitting with her legs crossed at the knees, rather than opting for the famed Duchess slant favored by Kate. The apparent etiquette faux pas sparked royal fans to refer to Meghan being as disrespectful towards the Queen, adding that royal ladies should sit with their legs crossed at the ankles. However, Mail Online's etiquette expert William Hansen says there is nothing wrong with the way she chose to sit and is actually as position favored by Camilla and even the Queen herself. And it's not the first time that Meghan has been accused of committing a royal faux pas. Fans pointed out that the Duchess turned her back on the Queen during her first trip to Ascot last week. And the previous week, in a moment of confusion, Meghan got into the Queen's car ahead of the monarch during their joint engagement in Cheshire. Last night, as the newlywed royal couple took their seats next to the Queen, the former actress had her third apparent slip up. Upon sitting down, Meghan, 36, forwent the Duchess slant, which she has previously mastered, and was instead pictured crossing her legs at the knees, rather than the ankles. Commenting on Facebook one wrote, Duchess of Sussex has her legs crossed wrong. What a disrespect to the Queen. All royal ladies cross at the ankles or put both legs off to the side. Another added, Meghan don't cross your legs Queen doesn't like that, said a third while another wrote, Meghan is crossing her legs. Awful photo. Am I being too picky? Typically the Duchess slant is used when a lady has to sit for an extended amount of time while keeping poise and posture. Mike Meyer, the founder of Beaumont Etiquette, previously told Good Housekeeping, com. One of the worst things a woman in the royal family can do, as far as go is sit with her legs crossed at the knee. Legs and knees must be kept together, although crossing at the ankle is fine, according to Reader's Digest. However, while many were offended by the Duchess seating position Mail Online's etiquette expert William Hansen says there is nothing wrong with the way she chose to sit and is actually as position favored by Camilla. Speaking to the Mail Online he said, there was nothing disrespectful about HRH the Duchess of Sussex's seating position last night. She had chosen to use the traditional finishing school technique of crossing one leg over the other, resting one ankle again the edge of the shin. This used to be used by ladies who wished to show off a grand ball gown and today it can be a good way to highlight a pair of hosiery-clad legs. Royal women do not often cross their legs, although HRH the Duchess of Cornwall sometimes does. This tip is to ensure nothing gets flashed that shouldn't be. Indeed. Even the Queen herself has been pictured crossing her legs at the knees during a BBC interview about her coronation which aired in January. The seating position may not be familiar to some who are most accustomed to the Duchess slant, adopted by the Duchess of Cambridge. It means sitting straight on a chair with your legs uncrossed, but slanted at an angle, your knees and ankles together to protect modesty. It allows royals to display good posture and is actually a comfortable seating position when she's wearing heels.